Hey everyone, welcome back to Burst Garage. So what we're doing today is we're doing a review on one of our partnerships with Alloy Man Tool. Who? Alloy Man Tools, you heard the man. So with that in mind, what they have done, they've sent us some of their power tools for us to do a review. And what my goal is, is to put these to the test and let you guys know, you know what the results are with that. I'm gonna take you guys right along with me. But first, what we need to do is we need to get this unboxed. And for Oh, look at this. Nice little carrying case with it. So let's get it open and check it out and see what's cracking. 480 foot-pounds of cordless impact on a 20 volt, and that's zero to 2,000 RPM. You know, this is an alloy man tool. And again, this is an industrial. It says it right there, industrial. So let's get this open and check it out. Fancy. Got a battery, pretty good sized battery, nice. Let you know if it's charged or not. What do we have? Oh. Looks like there's a few drivers in here. When I first grab it, you know, compared to the 20 volt that I use, this is a lot heavier of a device here. Man, that just feels real good. pretty heavy duty feels real nice I like it. it's good grip so a couple of details on this this is a chuck size 13 millimeter or a half inch and the speed is from 0 to 3300 rpms the impact frequency is 0 to 3500 on the low and on the max torque we're talking 520 foot-pounds impressive it's gonna be nice putting this to the test got a little charger here nice a couple little wall mount screws yeah it will not just slide off of it I like it I'm digging it so far all right so we've got our drivers here and we've got the driver set this is a few extensions so let's get this thing to the test. And if you need to email, you can email CEO at alloyman.us if you have any particular questions about this product. And if you want, you can go on their website and check out their other tools and listings. So I'll put the link in the description below and you guys check that out. So right now, let's get this thing plugged in and get it to the test. How exciting. All right, so we'll be comparing this to the 20 volt Dewalt brushless motor, and that is a model number DCF911TY1. So what I'd like to do is take you along with the testing of this, and this is going to be the testing of the install and the removal of some lug nuts off of an old C20. And what I'd like to do is go ahead and get both of them in the charger topped off. So we're gonna go ahead and put this one on also. So we are charging on both right now, and we'll step back in when we are in all green. All right, here we are. So we got two tests in mind. This is our very first test. We got both batteries charged. One's a Dewalt 20 volt, and one is the Alloy Man 20 volt. So we'll compare them as far as installing and removing. So let's start off with this Dewalt. We're gonna tighten it up. on the Titan let's use this alloy man to take it off on one with these now let's take that path in reverse let's use alloy man to install it use this Dewalt to take it off. It's helping. No helping. 
Now let's see if Alloy Man can take his own tool back off. Impressive. 480 foot pounds of torque. Welcome back to the recap of our field test. So when it comes down to this field test, there was a couple of points that I felt was pretty strong that led toward the alloy man. But before I make a decision in life, I use one of Ben Franklin's old T-charts or balance sheet, which is basically putting the pros and cons between the two and making a decision based off of those items. So let's take a look at this T-chart here. Come in a little closer. Okay, so the items that we'll be comparing is going to be between the price, the torque, the weight, the battery, and also the size. So when you look at alloy.com, we're at $99 for this tool here. DeWalt, you're $262. Torque wise, on the install, 480 foot pounds of torque. Removal, 520 foot pounds of torque. When you come to the DeWalt site, you're 250 foot pounds of torque and also 400 foot pounds of removal torque. Weight wise, Alloy Man is a little heavier at three pounds and 12 ounces versus DeWalt, two pounds and six ounces. Now, when it comes to the battery life, the Alloy Man has a four amp and the DeWalt has a five amp. Both are 20 volt batteries. Now, size wise, I like to take this to the bench. So when we look at the size comparison between these two impact drives. So now that we got that out of the way, just like Jerry Springer said, our final thoughts. And on my final thoughts, it came down to two items. One was the price, two was the torque. One, when you look at the price of the Alloy Man tool, it's less than half the cost of that DeWalt tool. I'm sold on that alone. Now the second is gonna be the torque. You saw on that DeWalt tool, it would not take off what that Alloy Man put on, but that Alloy Man went back and took off what it put on. So I was sold on that right there from the beginning. So this is one of those things that you'll need to decide for yourself. When I look at the pros and cons of this, I'm sold on the Alloy Man tool. And that's gonna be the price and also the torque because ultimately it outperforms on that DeWalt. So the second thing is, is do you wanna write a bigger check for less benefit or a smaller check for more of a benefit? Me, I'm gonna take that smaller check for more of a benefit. So if you'd like to learn more about this, check out alloyman.com and with that in mind, Take care of yourself and be safe.